Well, we as a whole, welcome to the general question. You know, we do every week on the general question, as we pour into the new season. Every week, you're going to be part of the show. This is the general question for you. I'm your host, Chris Lucas Tyree. But before we bring our special guest on the show today, as you will know, our very good housewoman, Esther, is in the studio today. Please give it a lot of applause. Hello. Hello. Hello, Esther. How are you? Not too bad. I'm just laughing because I don't want it to happen again. Oh, no. <laughs> Please have a seat. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. You're welcome. As you all know, people out there, it's Esther in the studio. Esther always gives us every bit of what is happening in Africa, and I believe she has so much to catch up with us today. Are we right, Esther? Yeah, I love gossip. So here the list, first one for us, please. Oh, the first one, I have to congratulate the Nigeria government. <laughs> Big applause. For the peaceful and the fair election. Good. Um, um, the, all over the world, the praises the government in Nigeria for the first time, we thank God everything went smoothly and uh, the new president elected in Nigeria. Hmm, that's good, that's a good that's thing. Great. That's great. Please give it one more time for Nigeria. <laughs> At least Nigeria proved that they are really in the democracy and uh, the oh. world of saying that uh, Nigeria has a different phase of how to move for forward. And we just hope this kind of change the way people view Nigeria. Is hopefully, hopefully, because I think things is going to change for better right now. Very good, very good, very good. Go on, Esther, what have you got for us today? We want to we're dying to hear you. Go on, give us something. Would that be possible? Well? Ten years old girl gave a bath to a baby, six pound baby, wow. in, in Malawi. Wow. How could that be possible? It's hard to talk about. Because there's another lady, five years old, before her, she's not the one that broke the record. Another five years, hmm. gave birth to a baby. Oh. That is so kind of weird, is it? So what are the people doing about it? Did they accept it? Or did they of course, it? they accepted it, and she's, they told girls so far hmm. to give birth to a baby at a tender age. Okay. Did the government find out about who the people uh, I mean, who are the people involved in all of this? Or what, what's kind of going on? Um, I read it in the paper that uh, one of the ladies, they had the whole, they had out ovary or something. Mm -hmm. But they were just a baby, but the ovary is matured. Right. It's very sad. It's very it's sad. It's very sad. You know, it's a sad mm -hmm. thing. People should not be doing things like that at that age, you know? I that mean, It's just I one mean. of those things that is unacceptable in a society. Esther, what have you got for us today? Again? Hmm. Single guests are now dating married men. Hey! <laughs> I laughed on this one, Esther. What's in on this? It was in the statistics. They said most of the single ladies now followed married men. And why? So many reasons. One reason? Maybe because they are not ready to settle down. Another reason? And they get pampered. Okay. Cuddle. Yeah. From married man. Cuddle? Yeah. <laughs> you know the single guys of nowadays, they are not serious at all. Are they not? They don't want to be used and dump. <laughs> okay. That's a good one, Esther. Go on. <laughs> you know, I don't like gossiping to you sometimes. People think I like gossip or no. I'm a gossiper. Are we not enjoying it in the studio? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. That's what we want. Go on, Esther. Bring it on. Um, another reason they said why the single ladies are following those sugar daddy. Hmm. They said they are very highly romantic. Wow. You know, the young guys are nowadays, according to the paper that I blogged last week, they said the young guys, they eat rubbish food. They are not, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, well, I don't know, Esther. If you want to dip it down more for me. You're I, a young boy. You should be able to answer the question. Well, can I answer the question? Well, we'll answer that later on. Go on, Esther. What have you got for me? And then again, about the situation with, uh, last year, about, uh, it wasn't only in January. Mm. A guy on the way to the church, coming from the church, he saw a ring on the floor. Mm. He put the ring on his finger, mm -hmm. and the finger swelled up. Mm. No, up to now, nobody could take the ring off. No way. They tried so many hospitals, mm. so many churches. Mm. They couldn't take this. At the end of the day, the guy said in the paper that the ring controls him. Wow. Every night, the ring speaks to him. Mm. That happened in Uganda. So I don't know, maybe they're going to amputate the hand, I don't know, because they couldn't. The, the, finger, the finger has now uh, doubled up in size. Wow. So I don't know, besides it's magical ring or something like that, wow. could that be possible? Well, I don't know, because you know, we're Western world, so we, we hardly kind of, you know, come across things that are very, uh, very supernatural way like that, you know, so uh, it's hard for me to even tell you what is. Anyway, what the thing. Americans want the guy to travel down Maybe okay. they could do something about the ring. Oh, hopefully, well, hopefully. They hopefully. can't. 
Esther, thank you very much for giving us more of this old gossip, you know, on the Jerry question. Please give it up one more time for us. <laughs> so be us at home, we'll be right back after this as we have some special guests on the show. So don't go away as we have Miss Nigeria Islands is going to be right here on the show. And Miss Bikini Islands is going to be right on the show. And as very, very, very special guest all the way from the UK is right here with us on the Jerry question. So we'll be right back after this. Don't go nowhere. Thank you. Welcome back to the show. Did we all enjoy that from Esther? Yes? Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. My next guest on the show, please join me to welcome 2014 Miss, uh, Miss Nigeria Island, Oye Domola. <laughs> Hello. Good to see you. See Have you. a seat, please. Welcome. Welcome to the show. It's good Thank to see you. Thank you very much. I'm sure. trying the name. I keep trying. I keep trying. At least I'm getting there. You know? it's, it's close. Good, good, good. So, welcome to the Jerry Quest show. This is how we do it on the show. And I want to say a big thank you for coming on the show today. Thank you very much for having me. So, tell us about yourself. You are Miss Nigeria Island. Yeah. How's it going for you? Um, okay, so I'm Oinda Molani Mashan, as you tried to say. Yeah, and yes. I'm 19 years old and I'm the current Miss Nigeria Island 2004 2015. Whoa, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's, it's going pretty great. I will be finishing my tenure in September when yeah. the next queen is going to take over. And the uh, competition has been going on for the last 10 years, actually. Wow. And yeah, so I'm, I, I am the youngest Miss Nigerian ever. Whoa. So yeah, whoa, I'm whoa, 19 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you guys on, on the show. Now, tell us about the road. How did it all begin for you? Okay, so I came back home one day and my mom and dad were like, do you want to enter this thing? And I'm like, no. Uh, but they were like, they, they, they encouraged me to do it. And then the uh, pageant was in July, uh, mm. July the 4th, actually, last year. And I entered it. And for some reason, they managed to pick me. I don't know why. Oh. Uh, yeah, and I won. And then since then, it's, it's been an experience, definitely. I have so much I have to do in terms of taking on um, charity work and doing things. I had to go to Nigeria, actually, a couple of weeks ago mm. for charity work. I went to tenant orphanages, met ministers and things like that. It's, it's an experience, definitely. And it's an eye opening one, definitely, for such a young age. Sure, definitely, <laughs> yeah. definitely, definitely. Right. Tell us at the moment, you in, uh, you're in the university at yeah. the moment, yeah. and uh, you study uh, English and sociology. and sociology. Yeah, in Manith University. How is that going? Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's part of an arts degree, and it's it is something basically because you have to like you have to learn a lot of things, a mm -hmm. lot of facts and things, and sometimes it's hard to grasp, but it's very interesting and it's something I want to follow on in the future. Awesome. So good. yeah, definitely. Good, good. Now tell us. I, I think we read some of your information that I mean your bio that you sent sent mm -hmm. to you talking about. Um, something like law slash immigration yeah kind of your so ever since i was a young gay i was very deeply involved in um in sorry in amnesty international yeah. And I was um, president of all the clubs, actually, all throughout my five years in uh, secondary school. And I was always very interested in doing human rights and immigration law. And it's just something that's very close to my heart. But I decided to actually follow English because I do like language and mm. sociology. And after that, I might consider taking a master's. It might have a long time because I'll sure. be graduating sure. by the time I'm 20. You're only 19. Yeah. So, so, I'll be to go. so I have a long <laughs> time to go. So I'll think about it after I get my degree, which I will begin next year at the age of 20. Wow. And then after that, I'll consider what I want to do in terms of following into law and things like that. But definitely human rights and immigration law specifically. <laughs> yeah, very specifically. Yeah. So just a little bit line, uh, like you were in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and uh, what was it like for you, you know, all the way over there? Yeah. What did you do? What did you enjoy? What, what did you bring it to? Yeah. What the people did you get in touch okay. with? Tell us. But it was definitely an experience, because I actually left Nigeria when I was eight years old, so it was the wow. first time two weeks ago I was back in 11 years. It was wow. very hot when I left <laughs> the airport. I was like, oh my God, what is this? I was, so, I was even wearing a jacket, so I was so used to the E. My mom warned me, but I didn't listen mm. but anyway I came out and basically that day I just I got to stay in Abuja mm. and I got to meet uh, a lot of people a lot of in terms of hotels and people wanted to meet obviously they were so interested in seeing this Miss Nigeria Island person I was like me who I'm not even that important anyway but like yeah they seem to be mm. anyway I got to travel to the uh, main organizer Edo State mm -hmm. and I got to meet uh, the Minister of Works Mike and oh. and I just talked to him about the roads and I got to travel on the roads and see different things and how they're actually changing things in Nigeria mm. I think I came there basically because it was a week before the election just to like you know, sure. trying. Obviously, the person I was there for didn't win, but that's okay. I'm so happy. Oh. It was very peace and fair because everybody was scared it was going to be very, a lot of violence. Yeah. Oh, but it wasn't. Sure, sure. But it was fantastic. We also got to uh, attend a lot of orphanages. Mm. And I, we actually, what happened, we had something called Hope and Smile. And we brought clothes and toys and wow. books and computers from Ireland, actually. Oh. From Ireland, people in oh, Nigeria. Give, give <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so 
oh. basically what happened, it's a charity called Hope and Smile. It's the main one I actually do follow. Mm -hmm. And we bring things from Nigerian di di diaspora and also people who are interested in They donate clothes, lightly used, new as much as they can, computers, books. And we took them to Nigeria too. I took some in my um, in my bags mm -hmm. I took with me and we also transported a truck over mm -hmm. and basically we donated also orphanages and we took them in places in Rumi which is in Edo state in Nigeria and we just donated to people who were in need and it was a wow. wonderful wonderful wow. event and basically it was very life changing for some people like they were getting things like people in the western world we wouldn't appreciate it as much but like it was so fantastic and so amazing to them so yeah okay. I'm happy that I got to do that yeah I really admire you, you guys all your pageant here in Ireland, you know, I think it's one of the most important, incredible team right now. Mm -hmm. The pageant in Ireland right now is going in very speed form, and you yeah. guys are really sending a lot of bigger message yeah, out there. Definitely. We believe that people are listening to, to you guys for the work that you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. Just before you go, are there any upcoming thing that you are looking forward to? to you know, this year or yeah, something. I am. As well as the Hope and Smile, there's another charity I do have is called Sickle Cell Society Ireland and yes. it's supporting people who have sickle cell in Ireland or yeah. carriers or who need help in the family. Yes. And we're actually now having a charity ball on April 17th as everyone, anyone's interested in coming and basically we're trying to raise tickets, uh, sorry, raise money and funds for people who have sickle cell in Ireland yeah. just to create funding because it's not think, something so people talk about a lot but mm -hmm. it is very important and it's close to me. So yeah, and in terms of, yeah, fashion shows and things like that just to raise funds and I do that on the side and Good singing stuff. and things like that. So yeah. Let's give it up one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Yeah. It's a pleasure to have pleasure. you. Stay tuned. Viewers, stay tuned for more of this. We'll be right back. One more time, please. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Cut. Oh, that was lovely. Please give it up one more time for Olivia uh, Mullins. <laughs> keep trying, keep trying the last name, but don't worry. I promise you that I will learn that name and I get it back to you. I promise you that. Well, anyway. Like you all know, this is a Jerry Quinn show. Fair play to all of these pageants here on Ireland. You really did a great, great job. And today we still have one more person to go away. And there's no other person. Please join me to welcome Miss McKenna Ireland, Judith Fitzgerald on the show. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. you. Please have a seat. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Great to see you, Judith. And appreciate your time for being with us on the studio here at the Jerry Quinn show. So tell us all about yourself, please. So my name is Judy Fitzgerald, I'm from Limerick. Yeah. I won Miss Bikini Limerick and then I went on to win Miss Bikini Ireland and then I went over to Mexico to Cancun to represent Ireland in the one of the biggest uh, international model searches. Wow. So has it been for you? How did you start it? Or what interest did you become, you know, a pageant in the first place? It all started when I entered Miss Bikini Limerick. Yes. Then I went and I were I was in Miss Munster as well mm. and I've just been doing modeling I do nursing also mm. and I've just been doing it on the side mm. and I just really enjoy it you love it that's, yeah. that's that's your passion that's what you love something yeah. you want to do now not just only that you've done you've done other uh, you know you've won you've gone to different uh, pageant shows you've gone to the state in New York tell us a bit about that one you did in New York what's it like for you so I got invited by Andres Aquino. He's the organizer of the Couture Fashion Week in New York. Mm. So he invited me over to walk for him. Mm. Uh, so I went over to New York and walked for him in New York Fashion Week. Mm. It was a great experience. I got to meet loads of um, interesting people. Wow. And Joe made new contacts. Great. It's just a great experience. Talk so that's I just love this dress. We were talking about this dress there this afternoon today. What is life? Well, I mean, the old, the, old fat, the old layout and everything. <laughs> Give us more insight of this. Um, Andres, he, he designs every dress to okay. each person. Right. So when you go over, you have fittings. It's a really busy week. You have fittings. You have to be taught how to walk mm. and everything. It's really, really busy. And like the hairstylists, they do with every look they'll do a different hair hmm. so the hair and makeup would be all like a tour all unusual so we had blue lips and blue eyes i can see that yeah <laughs> is that so unusual so people fun. come on yeah. <laughs> that was good and it's got the blue rose um so while you were there you, like you said you met a lot of this this people with their question where you're from and all this kind of you know try to get to know you yeah like everyone was like oh my god you're from ireland because yeah. the americans they love irish people oh, yeah. and joy traveled so far to be in it mm -hmm. it was just a great experience like there was after parties and everything do you know we were we there was more than where <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
hours about work and play. So it was really yes, good. It's good, good. And so, I made loads of friends and everything. I'm still in contact with girls I met over there. And oh, we were in magazines yes. from it. Like, do you know, me walking, I was in a magazine. Mm. Do you know, I got like loads from it. Wow, great stuff. Great now, pictures. Now you're back home now. What is life for you right now? What other things that you do compared to what you've done in New York now you're back in Ireland? What other activities are you currently doing at the moment? It, it's really busy. It's doing photo shoots, hmm. um, attending events. I was judging a pageant hmm. there in uh, the Mr. and Mrs. Valentine. Yes. Um, we are doing charity work, like we're doing a charity run. We did a calendar shoot and that all the money's going to go to breast cancer awareness. Wow, wow. Please give it up one more time for all your pageants and uh, you, you guys are doing a lot of work, a lot of work. And I believe people really need to kind of see the work you, you guys are doing. And I really hope that you all benefit from this as well, because there's a lot of information you carry along with the work you all do. And I do appreciate the work, you know. So do, now you're back home, you do a lot of the shoots, you, you go to a lot of events, you know. Do you do you study? Do you do any other thing that that, or you just fully focus on your you know passion and pageant and everything? So I trained in UCC University mm -hmm. College Cork to be a nurse. So I'm working as a nurse in Limerick. Okay. Um, I got kept on in the hospital. I trained in Cork, but then got offered a job in Limerick, and my manager is in Limerick. So I said I'd move home. It'd be easier to juggle the two. I'm also a qualified fitness instructor. I did that in the University of Limerick. <laughs> and I did a lifeguard course as well. Wow, wow. Joy so loves studying and keeping busy as well. Good, good. You've done a lot of work. You love the work, a lot of work done. Do you know, I want to say big, 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 big thank you. Have you got like Facebook or where people can find you so they can see more of your work? Yes, yeah, so done? I'm on Facebook. My like page is Miss Judy Fitzgerald. Yeah. My personal page is Judy Fitzgerald. I'm on Instagram as Judy Fitz. Yeah. Then our website is called Miss Bikini Ireland. Yes. Yeah. So the TV show um, is, so with Mr. Keen Ireland this year, it's going to be a TV show. Okay. So we're looking for like loads of beautiful girls from each county. Beautiful, and, beautiful Yeah, beautiful. with good personalities <laughs> too. And personalities, yeah. you know what again? Personalities, beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. Intelligent, <laughs> Intelligence, lots of skills. A lot of skills, so yeah. check it out. So she have it all. Yeah, so we want to pick a girl from each county and then we'll have the finals and it'll all be aired on TV. Okay. And then they're going to go to the Dominican Republic. That's where the model search is going to be on. Wow. So that's our main aim. And you're part of the judge. In, in I'm going show. to be the judging on the judging panel this year. And we'll be on that show as well. Yeah, yes, you can judge if you want. <laughs> judge all the beautiful girls. Let's give it up one more time for Judith Fitzgerald on the show. Thank you very much. Just stay with you. Stay with us one more time. We'll be right back after this as we have so much to catch up with. Thank you. We'll be right back. Come on, one more time. Thank you. <laughs> Show. It's not a person than okay tips. Good. One time, please. Thank you. <laughs> hi. Hello, hi, how are you? Fine. Good to see you. Have a seat there. Good to see you. How are yeah. you? Good to see you guys. Yeah. Welcome to the show, guys. Guys, welcome to the show all the way from England. Appreciate your time for being here. So may I go by the name? My name is Michael. And Sean. Sean, guys. Welcome yeah. to the Jury Quest show all the way from uh, England. How are you guys finding yourself here? Good? You having a good time? Yeah. yeah, it's cool. Good stuff. Guys, tell us about your um, a promotion going on at the moment. Can I have a look at this? I like yeah. this. And this is for me. Is that yes, right? that's, yeah. that's for you. Good stuff. So <laughs> it's called the Oakin TV, correct? Yeah, yeah. Oakin TV. Yeah, we love it. Yeah. Oh, we place it here. Okay, we place it here. <laughs> <laughs> is that looking good, guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So guys, so tell us about yourself, you know. Right, we're an online movie streaming platform for like the diasporas that are away from Africa. We show movies, African movies online. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you could go to type in www.okintv.com mm -hmm. and then you see all the movies that you want to watch. Okay. It makes you feel like you're still part of back home. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people love watching it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we do. Correct. Right, as we were saying earlier on. So tell us about um, how is that, I mean, how did you all begin in terms of, you know, coming up with the idea, you know, for people to be able to go online, to be able to watch most, most of these things, and they're more relating to more African movies. So where did you all start from? Well, I think it came up to seeing an opportunity that most people can't travel back home just to go and watch a movie that just come out. True. Because sure. usually back home, they release the movies out there but we can't get it over here. Mm -hmm. And with technology now, things are changing. People are not buying the CDs anymore, the DVDs, just to watch the movies. Mm -hmm. So it's better for them to just stream it online and 
less clutter in your house as well. True, true. So that's what... Too many things on the shelf, you know? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so um, with this music, I mean, this, no, not music, where I like, to, I mean, with these move movies, would yeah. they be only from Africa? What about people in England? Do they produce more African move movies there that can go? Yeah, anything online? that's got pertain to people in diaspora, really. True. Get shown on that platform. Mm -hmm. Good, good. And would you guys be looking at Ireland here to kind of, you know, look at what we're doing here and uh, get some, some things to put in there as well? Or what yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, like today, there's a movie premiere going on today, um, um, Single Married and Complicated. Right. So we're here for that movie as well. Good so we're going to cover that. So, you know, that's it. Good and stuff. whatever, um, any potential movies out here for Africa as well, we get, she could definitely come on platform. So, Hawking TV himself, a bit more representing more of the African, West African, you yeah. know, whatever is from Africa, you, yeah. your online uh, stream does represent that. Yeah, that's, that's a right. Thing. You guys, I want to say YouTube. big thank you guys for coming in on the general question. Please, one, one more time. <laughs> um, and guys, before you go, before you go, can you just call out the website thing so that people out there, you know, you have an island to be able to go in and have a look? Because we have a lot of African people. Okay, cool. Here, so. On YouTube, you can find us on the YouTube platform. Just type in on YouTube, the Okin TV. Yes. That will come up. Mm -hmm. Or if you're on Google, you could type in www.theokintv.com. Okay. And that will come up as well. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff, guys. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't go nowhere. So viewers at home, I hope you enjoy everything we're doing on the show. This is mine. So if you want to get some, go online and check them out, you know. Um, just make sure you uh, tune into the Jira Question every week. As you will know, you can find us at www.jirakwestion.com. But before we go today, please give it up one more time for all my guests from Miss Night Nigeria Island. <laughs> and also give it up one more time for my other guests again, Fitzgerald, Judith Fitzgerald, 2015, the Queen Island. And for my very guests here on the show, please give it up one more time for them. <laughs> and not to forget our very good. Keep that in a little bit. But give it one time from Esther, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and for my lovely studio audience in the studio, please, one more time for yourself as well. Thank you. <laughs> okay, to so all my production crew, I want to say thank you guys for all your effort for making this happen. Without you, we can't get this going. But thank you very much. So we'll come your way next week. Keep believing. If you have any story or something you want to share with us, why don't you log on to our website at www.jerequestion.com. From everyone in the studio, Take care, and we'll see you next week. God bless. Bye for now.